The N64 era basically abandoned the entire 2D platformer. Other than Yoshi's Story and Kirby, I can't name one 2D platformer worth mentioning. Kirby and the Crystal Shards is a childhood classic. The storyline is pretty simple. These eyeball things take over these fairy chicks, and then Kirby helps them with no incentive whatsoever. Maybe he's just a nice guy. In a lot of my videos I talk about how many Nintendo games are marketed to children, but the difficulty curve does not match. You see this within games like Super Monkey Ball, Donkey Kong Country, and Super Mario 3. Kirby is, in fact, a baby game. This is a pretty easy 2D platformer because A, you can fly for an extended period of time, making it really easy for you to go from platform to platform. And B, you can absorb abilities from various enemies, making the combat extremely simple. The ability system was pretty in-depth for its time. You can combine two different variations of enemies at once, so a really fun aspect of the game is just trying out everything and figuring out how you want to kill everyone. Kirby is kinda messed up when you think about it. These enemies always scared the crap out of me. The last couple of levels provide some challenge, but overall this was a very easy playthrough. This is an important debate us gamers need to talk about, because again, Kirby is a baby game, but that doesn't mean it's a bad game by any means. I would argue that Kirby is a fantastic game that still holds up today. This upbeat and happy experience coincides with some interesting level design. It's hard not to feel some form of repetition when playing a 2D platformer, but Kirby 64 does a great job at making every level feel fresh from both its aesthetics as well as the atmosphere. The bosses are all pretty fun besides the first world where you have to fight Waddle Dee, the French Dude, and King DDD. But that's all necessary because they become your friends later, so it's all good. The other boss battles provide a decent amount of variety and challenge. The final boss in the bad ending gave me a true challenge as a kid. This game takes around 4 hours to beat, but there's tons of replayability within all the crystals you need to collect, and if you want to unlock the true boss battle and true ending. The multiplayer minigames are a great time if you have some friends over, but it won't keep you occupied for the span of an entire playdate. I'm old enough where I shouldn't be calling it a playdate anymore, but this is my channel and I can say whatever I want. In 100 yard hop, you press A to jump 2 spaces, and B to jump 1. There are obstacles like frogs and puddles in your way that slow you down, so it's not as easy as it looks. In Bumper Crop Bump, I know that's a weird name, you have to push and shove to get the most fruit. You can press A to switch places with your opponents, which levels the playing field. In Checkerboard Chase, you have to press A to make a line of platforms fall in front of you. You use this to kill your friends. This is my favorite one of the three because it gets pretty intense as the outline gets smaller and smaller. Kirby is a great game for all ages. If you're older and you never played this game, then this is a great game to play with your younger siblings, cousins, or your son and daughter. If you're a Wii lad and you're watching this, steal mommy and daddy's credit card and buy this on the Wii shop. You'll have a great time eating enemies and using their powers to kill their friends.